Good morning, y'all. I am um, trying, going to try a new recipe this morning. I have always wanted to make waffles from biscuits. And it's like a really rainy day. Biscuits and gravy sound really good to me today. So, this is, like I said, a brand new recipe. So what I have in my bowl here is self-rising flour. If you already have that, you know, you're just going to use a couple cups and um, this is a really simple biscuit recipe, by the way. Two ingredients. Self-rising flour and whipping cream to make your biscuits. But what I have in my bowl, since I don't have self-rising flour, is I have in one cup of flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt and you just mix them all up I also don't have whipping cream but why should we let that stop us so I found a recipe a long time ago this is the first time I've tried it for homemade whipping cream now this is not for whipping it is only for baking okay so just so you know this will not beat up in your stiff peaks there are others out there for that using gelatin but this is not that one. So what I have is three quarter cup of milk and then I have one third of a cup of butter which is a, almost six tablespoons. Combine them, them together and I'm going to grab a fork to stir them together. You're just putting the fat back in the milk is really all you're doing. Okay, the milk is a little colder than the butter is. That's okay. Combine it, pour it in. And then you just simply mix it up, knead it, roll it out like any other normal biscuit dough. And um, I'm not really considering worried about how um, well these are going to rise and things because like I said I am going to make them in my waffle maker. I'm really really curious how well I don't know how well this dough sh is showing up so let me adjust a little bit. Sorry sorry about that but as you can see um, it's a pretty good dough. It's not thin. It is a little sticky. So what I'm going to do is I am going to add just a little bit more flour in till I can get it where it's a little more rollable. Because I, I do want to try to put these biscuits on my waffle makers rolled out. I want to use four per time, you know, the shape of the waffle makers. So let me get this finished and I will be back and we'll see what happens. So I'm back. There is my dough rolled out. It is a very soft dough and I gotta say I like it. I had to add about um, three more tablespoons of flour into the dough because it was very sticky. But then, um, you know, flour your board when you're ready. And I didn't roll it out. I just pushed it with my fingers. So what I'm going to do is leave that sit there for just a minute and I'm going to get started on my gravy. And I am going to be using, voila, this. I like this. It's very salty. So what you need to do when you use it is you need to make sure you put this stuff in water and let some of that stuff soak out. Other than that, you're going to have, huh, from the salt. Kid you not. But if you haven't tried it, I do like it. I think it's very good. But it does require the soaking. Okay, so when I get back ready to cook these on the waffle machine, and my gravy is pretty much done, because obviously waffles only take a couple minutes on each side, um, I will be back. But so far, I'm saying I really like this dough. Okay, we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so I've got all my biscuits rolled out. I put four on here. I did um, 
put oil on the waffle maker just in case. These actually did roll out really nice and you should get 12 out of this recipe for the uh, biscuit dough. I would say make sure you put equal parts um, liquid and flour obviously duh you know but I messed up there you go anyway so I'm going to get my waffle maker in and I am going to go ahead and wait until it says ready which so waiting for the light to turn green and then we're off and running got the chip beef soaked in water and drained and now resting in happily in the gravy mix by the way it just says rinse it I mean like soak it really for you know up to about five minutes because even when you take it out you're still gonna get the salt hit so just know that don't add more a lot more salt to anything it's gonna be plenty um, when you put it in the gravy I can see that my waffle maker is steaming. Yeah. Hopefully these do not burn before the light turns and says they are ready. We'll see. I get really curious and want to pop it open and then it would have to start all over again. So, But if I smell burnt, I am going to stop it. it. Smells like biscuits, the steam does. Not bad. So it amazingly smells like biscuits in here, but I'm waiting on this green light to pop off. Um, then we're going to see what they look like. Hopefully they're not black and burnt to a crisp. It does really smell good in here. Um, do any kind of gravy, obviously, that you want. Just do whatever biscuit recipe you want. Um, I don't know if drop biscuits would work on this or not because like I said this is kind of my first attempt and just pretty curious how they come out so look at that how cool is that I kind of wondered if this would work or not really wasn't sure but <laughs> looks good to me and they are cooked so, I'm just going to go ahead and cook these up and stick them in the freezer because I really know I do not want more than one. Let me close this back up and flip it over. And over here, gravy. Now I've been diving into some really unhealthy menu menus lately, but that's okay. I'll whip myself back in this week. Biscuits and gravy. Waffle biscuits and gravy. How about that one? Let's take a bite because I'm curious to see how they taste. Hopefully, just like biscuits. I think that's what they should taste like. Let me see. Mmm. Thumbs up, guys. These are really good. Have a good day. God bless you all.